If you're just facing the question, what is Chromebox Alpha? How can I calculate it? And most importantly, how do I interpret the results? Then you're in the right place. And we start right away with the first question, what do I actually need Chromebox Alpha for? Let's say you have formulated a hypothesis in which there is a variable that cannot be measured directly, a so-called latent variable. In order to make latent variables measurable, a scale is used. So now what is a scale? A scale is a group of questions. So for example, question 1 to question 4, which are used to jointly measure a latent variable. The individual questions in a scale are called items. The goal now is that the responses to the various items match well. So for example, they should be highly correlated. Each individual question should correlate as highly as possible with every other question. If the answers to the questions are highly correlated, this is called a high internal consistency. And now we have finally arrived at the Kronbach's alpha. And it is precisely this internal consistency that Kronbach's alpha measures. So we can say that Kronbach's alpha is a measure of the internal consistency of a scale. Thus, Kronbach's alpha is a measure of the extent to which the group of questions are related to each other. And thus it gives us an estimate of how good or bad the measurement accuracy, the so-called reliability of a group of items is. What is important here is that Kronbach's alpha does not test whether the individual items are really influenced by only one or by several latent variables. A high value of Kronbach's alpha is not evidence that the items are influenced by only one latent variable. In order to make sure that the reliability of the scale can be estimated using Kronbach's alpha, the conditions must be filled that all questions or items measure the same latent variable. So this means if all items measure the same latent variable, then Kronbach's alpha tells us how well these items measure the latent variable. Now first an example. Our hypothesis is extroverted people earn a higher salary than introverted people. How do I measure the salary now? That's easy, I just ask for it in my questionnaire. So the question could be, what is your current net monthly income in dollars? But how do I measure people's extraversion? So how do I measure people's extraversion? Let's say that through research you found out that extraversion can be measured by the following scale from the big five personality traits. Please indicate how strongly the following characteristics apply to you. I am outgoing, talkative, sociable, enjoying social situations. And the answers range from applies to does not apply. So now we have a scale with four items. So what you do now is you create a survey on datadep.net and send it out. And you have the answers displayed in an Excel table. Now you want to check if the items have a high internal consistency and calculate the Kronbach's alpha. You can calculate Kronbach's alpha with the formula, formula where n is the number of items, v bar is the average variance and c bar is the average inter-item covariance between items. Of course, one does not calculate Kronbach's alpha by hand but you use a statistical software. I will now show you how to do this and above all, how to interpret the results. In order to calculate the Kronbach's alpha, just go to datadep.net and you find a link also in the video description. Then you copy your data into this table Further, you just click on the link Reliability. We want to calculate the Chromebox Alpha for these four items, so we just click on them. 
Then DataDab will automatically calculate the Chromebus Alpha for us. In this case, we got a Chromebus Alpha of 0.71. If we take a look at this table, which gives us an indication for the interpretation, we find out that the calculated Chromebus Alpha is just acceptable. What is further interesting now is the item scale statistics. Here we can see how the Chromebus Alpha changes when one of the four items is removed. So for example, if we remove the item outgoing, we get a Chromebus Alpha of 0.66, which is smaller. Likewise, if we remove the item talkative, we get an alpha of only 0.48. However, if we remove the item enjoying social situations, we get an even higher Chromebox Alpha. So our Chromebox Alpha then would be 0.79. So in this case, one could consider removing the item enjoying social situations. For your information, this example is freely made up. I would say just try it yourself. It's very easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.